Shelley Kovko had been planning for Jake's return for 10 days leave in June. Tomorrow she'll receive his coffin on a flight from Iraq. Until I get him home, I don't know. I know my life changed when the doorbell rang. But, yeah, I don't know. I've just got to go on for the kids. Son Tyree turns four this year. Alana will be one. I said to Tyree, Daddy's not coming home. Um, I just said he, um, he got hurt and they couldn't fix him. And he actually, he actually told me to tell them to get a Wiggles Band-Aid. What's Daddy? He was! That's right. Jake Kovko proposed to Shelley three months after meeting her at the Briagalong pub. She says he was a brilliant paratrooper and dreamt of being in the SAS. When they learnt of his posting to Iraq, she didn't try to stop him. This photo taken on the day he left. I supported him, yeah, 100% with what he did. Yeah. And he knew that I was here with him, waiting. She says he was on top of the world when they spoke for the very last time on Wednesday. He was, yeah, so happy just every night that I spoke to him. He just loved it. Yeah, he's, I mean, he was with his mates. She says those mates have promised her an army of hugs when they return. I sent a letter to the guys that um, were with him and the guys that are still over there and said, stay there. I want them to do it for Jake now. Jake Kovko will be buried in Gippsland with full military honours. Kelly Wilson, ABC News, Sale.